for the management information systems. Hello everyone. In the data and knowledge management, let's see what is big data and how does big data contribute to management information systems. To start with, let's see what is big data. Big data is a collection of both structured and unstructured data that is too large, fast, and distinct to be managed by the traditional database management tools or traditional data processing applications. We have seen in the previous videos that database management approach, how it helps to solve the traditional database problems or design an application using rows and columns or tables. And in the previous video, we saw how a traditional database approach differs or for a static data, how it differs from a streaming data. And the detailed description of the big data concepts are available on the same channel in the big data concept series where the complete description of how the structured and the unstructured data are given. What is big data? How data becomes large? A very simple definition is whenever the data grows more than the capacity, it becomes big data. Now let's take a few examples of what are big data. Now this is data managed by the real-time auction bidding in online environment, that is the share market. Or we see a lot of trading that happens daily on the per second basis in the share market is the data managed at the real-time auction because a very small change relates to a huger loss. The next is the data managed by the e-commerce websites for request search, consumer customer recommendations, current trends, and merchandising. The very simple example is the Flipkart, Amazon, and lot many sites from where the buying of products take place. A very simple example of failures sometimes happen when a lot many people try to access a system. It happens at a billion dollar sales sometimes when the people approach or the lot of people are there more than what is expected. So it deals with slowdown or collapse of a system for some time. And data managed by the social media for providing a social network platform such as Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. And all this is a combination of unstructured data. Now, which platform do we choose for a big data analytics? As you see over here, the data has grown from megabyte, gigabyte, terabytes, petabytes, and now it has reached more than zettabytes. And when we start with the general purpose RDBMS, that is relational database management systems, which were structured data, it moved to a little unstructured or a semi-structured data, which is called analytic database, where we had data and analysis was done on it to a total unstructured format to into Hadoop or a big data analytics, where the lot of unstructured data flows in. What we mean by unstructured is we have files, we have images, we have videos, we have uh, word, text, and everything goes in in no format. Now, what are the characteristics of big data? We call it three Vs. Now it's increased to six. The three Vs we say is volume, as system users generate terabytes, petabytes, and zettabytes of data. So for this volume, we need storage. Then there is a velocity as the data flows in at a speed. So we should be able to process at a faster speed so system generated streams of data, multiple sources, feeding data from one system, we need a faster processing systems. Then there's a variety as I said, the structured, unstructured data block, image, audios and videos. So we need the different presentation slides. So volume, variety, velocity, storage, processing, presentation are important as the characteristics of big data. Now let's, sorry, now let's take another concept which is called as value chain of big data. We have data generation, that is 
how my big data is generated. Now, when I say data generation, there are different sources of information. And the basic source of information sometimes is users, enterprises, systems. And in the current scenario, we, as the users of mobile phones, contribute to a lot of data generated with the help of WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and Twitter. After the data is generated, the collected data, there is a lot of segregation of data that is done because we need to filter out from this data what is information and what is knowledge. And then happens is data analysis. So there's a lot of analytics, there's a lot of research, there's a lot of production system, prediction, recommendation systems. All these are developed on this data analytics. And then applications here I've taken using big insights. We can have using cloud era. We can have analytics using different analytics tools that are available. And for this analysis, we can have a different management information systems that will help us build a better prediction system like in case of share market, when there's a lot of data available, we take a prediction graph of over one year. That is, if today I'm taking a July 19, I can take from July 18 to July 19 a particular share, how it has progressed. So we can predict that maybe in the next one week, what will be the prediction? That is how the value chain of big data contributes to a management information system. Here, what I took an example was of a share market. Thank you.